My, you're gonna be my guest. You're gonna be my guest. Yeah, you're gonna be my guest on this show. Hey YouTube, we are back with another video. Uh, today we are, as you can see, in the chicken coop, uh, or in the back of the chicken coop rather, um, and we thought we'd give you a, a little bit of a rundown on raising chicks to chickens. Uh, so we have three different, three different kinds, or two, two different two, kinds. Two different kinds. That's right. And uh, so the white ones here, these ones are Cornish cross. These are our, uh, our meat birds. And then the brown ones that we have, the brown ones are our brown leghorns. Um, we say brown leghorns because they do have white leghorns. We just chose to get uh, brown, brown ones, leghorns. Yeah. And then we do yeah. have a, a white leghorn rooster. Yeah, which is, uh, he's, he's very protective, he's great, uh, but he's pretty friendly as well, so I don't have to worry about being attacked by a rooster. Yeah. Alright, our first topic we want to talk about is care for t chickens. And the way uh, we start these chickens off is we put them under a heat lamp in, uh, in the winter or in the spring when it's still cool outside. Uh, because they do need warmer temperatures to uh, keep their temperature of their body up to par. Once they're out of... Uh, the heat lamp you can have them kind of roaming around here and uh, you want to first have them on a starter feed uh, which is a lot uh, smaller granular uh, type of food and then you get them into a uh, grower type which has more of a protein uh, or sorry less of a protein than the starter does and I believe the grower is about a uh, 17 or 18 percent where the starter is about a 20 percent and that just helps them get to uh, weight faster. Uh, the care for them basically is pretty simple. We lay down wood shavings and uh, that's kind of where they go to the bathroom on. However, you're gonna notice a huge difference between the two different types of birds with your meat birds and your egg layers. Your meat birds are gonna poop a lot, they're gonna eat a lot, and they're gonna <laughs> stink a whole lot. And they don't move around a lot. Um, uh, we have them out here and they're moving quite a bit more than they were when they're in the chicken coop just because the egg layer is out here. Now the egg layers, they, um, they eat the same food but they don't eat as much, they don't poop as much and uh, they don't stink as much as the, chick, uh, as the meat birds do. So that is a bonus. So one thing that's really curious is, of course, the different timelines that chickens have uh, in terms of uh, whether they're meat birds or whether they're egg layers, um, and the different sizes that they are at different ages. So these meat birds, actually, uh, people think that people always think that they're older because they are bigger. Not true. These meat birds, these white ones here, are actually only six weeks old. Um, they'll be six weeks old actually this Saturday, That's right. I believe. So they're only about five weeks right now. Um, and our egg, our egg layers, our leghorns here, are three months. So you have birds that are bigger, or some of them are the same size. It's a drastic difference. But, <laughs> but they are only uh, five weeks old. And then our egg layers are three months old. In, uh, in in that in, sense. In, so, chicken, in chicken in chicken years yeah, yeah. <laughs> in chicken years um, but one thing yeah it's one thing that's definitely very interesting in terms of the difference in sizes um, you can tell the egg layers are made to lay eggs and the meat birds are made to lay are made to be meat yeah be meat um, and that's just kind of the breeding of them and the genetics of them uh, that they've been raised to to produce that kind of thing. So with two different types of chickens, it's a different timeline for both of the both types of chickens dependent on uh, how old they are. So for our egg layers here, uh, they are on they are on starter for until they're eight weeks old, and at eight weeks old, they are transferred onto a grower feed. That lasts until they're about six months, and then they get put onto what's a layer feed, um, and, or six months, or until they lay their first egg, which is usually around six months. That's why we say that's the timeline. So for egg layers, you want to make sure that you have them on a starter feed until they're eight weeks old or two months old. Then when you transition them into a into a, into a grower feed, and then they would get transitioned into a layer feed once they start laying their, their eggs. Uh, for your meat birds, because they grow so much faster, you're going to transition them sooner. So for your meat birds, you would have them on a starter feed until they are four weeks. So it's half the time. So you have four weeks, you then transition them onto a grower feed, and they stay on that grower until they get butchered, which is actually uh, six to eight weeks is yes. approximately the, the prime time to butcher them. Uh, they may last a little bit longer. It just depends on, uh, on how big they are. You want essentially for them to be a certain weight before you butcher them. Now when it comes to production of the uh, chickens, it all depends on uh, the type of bird you get. Now with our uh, brown leghorns, once they start uh, producing eggs, they're gonna be kind of um, 
sporadic as their uh, first eggs come into uh, production. But once they start uh, getting regular with their egg production, we're expected to get one uh, egg per chicken per day. So we'll be getting uh, 12 uh, eggs per day from each chicken. And obviously we're not gonna eat that, hence that uh, if you saw one of our previous videos on how to make money on a homestead, that link will be up here. You can check that out and we'll be selling eggs. Um, the the meat birds, when we go to um, process them, you're looking about anywhere between five and seven pounds of uh, meat and that's fully dressed um, for actual meat production. So it all depends on when you butcher these uh, chickens. So if you're doing it at six weeks, they're gonna be more of a broiler type uh, or uh, sort of like a fryer type of uh, chicken, smaller. Um, if you give them eight weeks, then they're gonna be more of uh, the ones that you wanna make for like um, uh, barbecues and, and uh, in the oven and stuff like that. So it all depends, but uh, the production on them all varies. It all depends on what type of chicken you wanna get. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in today. Hopefully you got some great info. Uh, smash that subscribe button if you uh, have not subscribed yet and we'll check you on the next video.